This mural of Breonna Taylor will be painted in a historically black neighborhood in Annapolis, Maryland. Artists and volunteers will paint the 7,000 square foot mural this weekend. One of the artists said the mural will be painted on a basketball court. The project is in collaboration with the Maryland Commission on African American History and Culture and the Banneker Douglas Museum. Through the power of public art, mural artists say that they hope to show this pivotal moment in our history in a peaceful and in an active way. The mural will be 7,000 square feet once it is totally finished. Brianna Taylor was shot and killed by police more than 600 miles from Maryland in Louisville, Kentucky. But she will be memorialized here in Annapolis with a mural so big you'll be able to see it from outer space. A team of artists and volunteers spent the day painting a mural of Breonna Taylor and Black Lives Matter across two basketball courts in Annapolis today. Around 30 volunteers and 10 teaching artists pulled out their paintbrushes and began drawing the 7,000 square foot artwork. Jeff Huntington, the founder of Future History Now, says he hopes students will remember this moment. We want the youth of Annapolis to experience this pivotal moment in history in a creative, positive, and active way. so that when there are future leaders 20, 30, and 40 years from now, we want them to be able to look back on their personal experience and know that art is a positive way to uplift and beautify our communities. After two days of painting, the mural of Breonna Taylor and Black Lives Matter is finally finished. As you can see, it expands across two basketball courts in Annapolis. Several groups work together to make it happen. The mural was designed in a way that a team of volunteers, regardless of their background, could work on it. Taylor was shot and killed by police in Louisville, Kentucky.